Hi everybody, it's Bobby Joe, and welcome to my home. I was about to clean up after um, prepping for a swap and figured I would show you the uh, miniature uh, Michaels Hall. It's mostly um, Cricut stuff because they had an excellent sale on all of like Sizer and um, other like it wasn't just Cricut stuff that was for for sale they had but the Cricut was like 40% off which was really nice um, but first things first non Cricut stuff um, picked up some of this chalk paint this um, it's turquoise and I try to stick with turquoise if I can in the craft area and I want to redo um, a wooden, uh, my, my uh, pin board that I have. I've had it for like probably 25 years. It needs an upgrade. So yeah, I'm going to do that on a nice day. And then I got, of course, a couple more of these. I, I never have enough of these, um, obviously. So I had to pick up two more. And then I picked up some more because with Mario and I giving up the car and stuff like that, I picked up some of my um, gold foil paper just so I had it on hand. Um, because I don't plan on being back to Michael's for quite a bit and I won't pay their shipping costs. So yeah. All right. Um, before we get into vinyl, it's just this standard mat, um, for the Cricut. These are two mats. I got it for $11.99. I was so pumped, um, which is a very good price. This is the standard grip. Now, for paper, usually they say it's the fine grip that you're going to use. But I, what I do is once I, I have cleaned these, like you can clean these with um, uh, dish soap. Once I've cleaned them and I clean them again, I can't get them to stick as much anymore. Then I downgrade this one to a, a fine and I start using it and then I have my standard grip so essentially I I don't buy fine the the like the least amount grip I don't buy that um at all I I still have the one that I had since I bought the Cricut but it's been washed and it's yeah there's no stick to it anymore. So what I do is I just, yeah, move on to my new standard grip and, and uh, use the old one. Um, so Sizer, actually I didn't, I ended up not getting um, Cricut, the Cricut um, uh, vinyl. And the reason I didn't get it is, number one, these have four instead of um, Cricut's three. These have four different types of, um, of colors. There's four sheets with 11.8 inches by 12. So it's very, very, so it's black, white, gold, and silver. Those are the main things for... Um, HTV, which is the um, heat transfer vinyl, and then you have. I picked up this one here. Hope you can see that. All right, these are the mint lilac, um, pink, pale blue, and that's yeah. So there's four of them, and it was about the same price. I, I'm. I keep thinking it was. Fourteen ninety nine, maybe I'm maybe I'm too high there, but um, yeah. So I looked at the Cricut, and you get one less sheet for 
it was around the same amount. And I said, well, I might as well get the extra sheet. The Oracle ones, um, these are 12 by 12 inches by um, 5 inches. These are permanent adhesive vinyl, so they're not the iron-on. Um, and yeah, these are for 12 by 5, so 12 inches by 5 feet. It was six ninety nine a piece, so that's really good deal. So I, I picked up a couple of them. Um, I still I, like I have to, I have vinyl that I haven't used yet, um, so I need to start using that. But I picked up turquoise, of course, and gold is one of my main colors that I use. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I was happy to get those. And um, yeah, that's all I've got for you. All right, you guys. Thanks. Bye-bye.